Sammy arrived in 2012 when we opened the fish shop and he has actually trained me in feeding three times a day which is nine o'clock, one o'clock and four o'clock. In the high tides he would get up, jump out of the water onto the, the footpath but since we opened the restaurant that's become a, a, a regular occurrence. It doesn't have to be high water, it'll be three feet from, from the, the water's edge and he can still jump up. So we approached the seal sanctuary and asked them to help us train Sammy to stay in the water. So they gave us some tips and uh, we now have a herding board that we lean up against Sammy and he realises that's a negative thing and he, he's staying in the water, he's not getting up as much. The, the problem with him getting up is that he could be injured and um, yeah. although it's really good for business, I don't want to be at that expense but he could also snap at people because people have a tendency to think because he's there then he might, might be tame, he's not tame, he's a wild animal and he he's an aggressive animal and all, all grey seals are so I'd ask people not to ask to feed him and to keep their distance at the end of the day he's a wild animal we want him to remain that, that way but he's done wonderful things for Wicklow he, we have had a video on, on YouTube that has got 20 million hits which has mentioned Wicklow in all parts of the world and we find that we're getting tourists coming down that would normally quiz by Wicklow going to Dublin getting off the ferry popping in to see Sammy the Sea we've had Italians, we've had Americans we've had people from England uh, even people from the Midlands here coming over to see him so he is a bit of an attraction and hopefully he'll be with us from me.